graders, this is your e-learning lesson for language arts for Tuesday, April the 7th. Today we're going to do a little review on changing singular nouns to plural nouns. So let's take a look over here. This we're just going to go through the rules for changing singular nouns to plural nouns. Reminder, singular means it names just one and plural is more than one. So first rule. Most times in making nouns plural, you will simply do what? Add S, correct. So in this case, oops, doesn't seem like that's showing up very well. Let's, let's choose another color here. Okay, we're changing chair to chairs. And so we just add an S. Next word we have is dove. Dove ends with an E. That doesn't change uh, anything. It's just, it already ends with an E. And so once again, it's a noun where we're simply just going to add S, okay? All right, next word, the next section actually is a group of words that we need to look at the endings. Our rules tell us that anytime we have a noun ending in S, X, CH, SH, or Z, we need to add what to make it plural? ES. So walrus becomes walruses, fox, foxes, finch, finches, thrush, Rushes, buzz, buzzes. Okay, so again, nouns ending in S, X, CH, SH, or Z, we would add ES to make them plural. Okay, most nouns just add S. Words ending with any of these five endings, we add that ES to it. Okay, and then the last, and I know your favorite, words that end. Your, your nouns that end in Y. Remember that when a noun ends in Y, we're going to always look at the letter that comes before the Y because that's going to indicate what it is we need to do. So it ends in a Y, look at the letter before the Y. Here we have an E. An E is a vowel. Anytime you have a vowel that comes just before the Y, all you need to do is add S, okay? So donkey becomes donkeys simply by adding an S. Here we have pony. Pony ends in a Y. The letter before the Y is not a vowel. It is not a vowel, it is a consonant. So when it is not a vowel, that's when we need to change the Y to an I and add ES. So pony will become ponies, P-O-N. We change that Y to an I, and then we add E-S, okay? All right, so when it ends in a Y, always look at the letter that comes before the Y. When it's a vowel, you just add S. When it's a consonant, that's when we change the Y to an I and add E-S. All right, again, let's just go back one more time and review this. Most nouns, you simply add S, with the exception of nouns that end in S, X, CH, SH, or Z, then you add ES. Nouns that end in Y, you always have to look at the letter that comes right before the Y. When it's a vowel, you just add S. When it's a consonant, that means any letter that's not a vowel, A, E, I, O, and U are your vowels. So anytime you have a consonant before the Y, you change the Y to an I and add ES. Now there is one more way to make words plural, and there's no, um, there's no formula for that, there's no set pattern for that, and that's words that change word form or words that actually stay the same. Words that stay the same, for example, sheep, whether you have one or you have 100, is still sheep, 
Okay, that's an example of a word that stays the same, doesn't change at all. You have child, and to make child plural, that becomes children. In this case, we sort of just added to that, but the word form did change. Uh, another example that we use a lot, man becomes men. You can see that the word form has changed. Now, again, there's no pattern for these. These are just words that you need to know. They change word form or they stay the same. Okay, these are rules that you can follow and use all of the time. And then you just sort of need to know the words that change word form or the words that stay the same. All right, so today you are going to work on workbook page 26. Workbook page 26, they give you 15 words in the box at the top, 15 singular nouns, 15 singular nouns. And then they give you, uh, you have eight blanks. And on each blank, they're telling you that this, and you can see how it's set up, it's to look like a table of contents and they want you to choose eight different nouns. They want you to use each of those nouns in a made up title. Now it says here that you're writing a table of contents for a book about animals. The title for each chapter should include the plural form of a noun from the box and be sure that each chapter has an interesting title. So you need to choose eight different nouns from the box, use each of those eight nouns in eight separate titles that you have created. And in those titles, you're using the plural form of the noun. So let's say for example, um, you know, if pony is one of the words that you choose, well, you know that in the chapter title you're creating, you're going to write ponies. And maybe you're going to say, you know, um, my favorite ponies and there's the title of your chapter okay again you're writing chapter titles you're not writing complete sentences you're writing chapter titles things that you might find chapters that you might find in a book about animals okay that is all you need to do on that page that's page 26 and you're just simply writing eight chapter titles using the plural form of eight of the uh, nouns in the box at the top Okay, for spelling today, you need to complete the story, Words in Context, and that's pages 99 and 100. You also have the Wordly Wise Closure Worksheet to complete. Oh, I'm sorry, you have, um, today you have the test. Your closure worksheet should have been completed yesterday. Today you are doing the test and remember that is through Quizlet that you take the Wordly Wise Lesson 10 test. And then today you have fever. Make sure you're reading chapter 10. You should have completed 9 yesterday. Today is chapter 10. Please make sure you read that and answer those questions. And then don't forget to be spending 20 or 30 minutes um, also reading your AR book. Remember, you want to keep up with that, keep up with your points, make sure you're reading and taking your AR test. Again, any questions or concerns that you have about any of your work, please make sure you reach out to me and I'll see you later. Bye.